Today we're going to go over setting up the two-player Shadow the Hedgehog mod version 2.2. Readme has been updated to now have a how to play slash setup section, and the too long didn't read of this video is essentially this. You're going to build a custom ISO, you're going to enable the cheats and use the provided config or GCT, and you're going to optimize Dolphin, or if you're going to play a Nintendo, you're going to be sure you're using the custom Nintendo build for the releases and download the mod. And the assets right here is what you need, and download that. And I'm also going to grab the SD texture pack since I'm also going to do this for Dolphin. Alright, let's follow the readme. First thing it wants you to do is grab the latest beta or dev version of Dolphin. And even if you already have Dolphin downloaded, I recommend having a separate one just for this mod. Alright, so here's our latest Dolphin. Downloaded, let's extract it. Also going to extract the mod itself. Don't need this anymore. Looks like the texture is finished downloading, so I'm gonna close that out as well. So before you launch Dolphin, create an empty file portable.txt in the same folder as Dolphin. Alright, so let's open up our extracted Dolphin. New file. Portable.txt. And now we can open Dolphin. Need to locate where our original game is. Make sure it's in the list. Let's do the verify step now. So to ensure you have the right version of the game, right-click it, hit properties, click verify, and then click verify integrity. This will take a while, but once it's done, we want to compare this MD5 value right here with the one provided. In my case, it matches. Now we're going to go ahead and extract the game so we can actually replace it with modded files. To do that, we need to right-click the game again, go to properties, Go to File System, click Disk, right click it, say Extract Entire Disk, and let's make a new folder and I'm just going to call it 2P Extracted. I'm going to select that folder and it'll take a little bit to extract. Once that's done, you can close this out. We can move on to replacing the files with the mod. I'm going to actually open up a new explorer here. Go to my downloads, go to the 2 player Shadow the Hedgehog 2.2 folder. In this ISO Edits folder, open this up. Cut the two files here, or copy, and move it to the newly extracted folder you made. So this will be, in my case, 2P Extracted. Replace it if it prompts. Alright, so that's done. And at this point, if I wanted to do, say, the Sonic over Yellow Android, you would also replace that here. But I'm going to demo this for hardware first, and unfortunately that code does not work on real hardware. Now I need to go to Config, go to Paths, Add. Click the 2P Extracted folder, go to Sys, and select this folder. Alright, so this is here now, and you should see this icon, and it should say 0 bytes. Right-click it, and say Convert File. This should already actually be set to what you need, you need this to say ISO, and this to be unchecked. Hit Convert, and because I'm doing this for Nintendo, I'm just going to call this game.iso. Alright, that was fast. And if for some reason you already have this directory set where you save the ISO, this might pop up. I did notice on Linux there's an issue, this might show up as a messed up banner and the size will be wrong. If that happens to you, you just need to go to View and say Purge Gameless Cache, and it'll update. And here it is again with the correct file size. Alright, so now we've built our custom ISO for Nintendo. Now let's go ahead and open up this Nintendo folder. This folder up here, Nintendo 2P Mod, is actually a custom Nintendo build that'll work only with our mod and it's not going to work with any other games. So if you currently use Nintendo, you can actually keep your Nintendo on your SD card, but make sure you're launching this one when you're trying to use this mod. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Wii's SD card. And now I need to open up the Apps folder and grab this Nintendo 2P Mod. Perfect. That's all you need to do on the SD itself. I've now plugged in the USB I'm going to use with Nintendo. And if you open up this root of USB or SD, this will have a games and saves folder. Move those over. And inside this games folder, out of the hedgehog, you need to move over that game.iso that we built. Something I wanted to clarify before we move on, this saves folder within the root of USB or SD, this is the 100% save file for Nintendo. In case you want to use a custom memory card without the 100% save file say you want to separate it from your original game, you just don't include this file and make sure memory card emulation is on in Nintendo and it'll generate a new one that's empty. Alright, so while that's going, 
to check out this pick one GCT folder. And all this is is just the different type of split screens that are pre-built for the cheats. So if you want horizontal or you want vertical, this one is with the shared respawn, so if one player dies, both of them will reset. And independent respawns is if one player dies, only that one player resets. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab the independent vertical screen one. So I'm gonna stuck that in here. If I wanted to do that, I need to switch this file out. So grab the file name, delete it, and replace the file name with the one that I just brought over. If you're not satisfied with the options you have here, back at the releases tab, go get Code Manager 2. And this is a Python program. At the time of this video though, this zip is only for Windows, but this does have support for Mac and Linux. I'm gonna extract this, run this, and once this window pops up, it'll ask you about a title database. You can either download this or not. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Go to File, Import, Import Code List. I'm going to go open up that 2-player Shadow the Hedgehog 2.2 folder, and you want to target the Goop 8 PINI. Once you open that up, this will pop up. You can expand it, and check out the cheats you have available. This is where you can customize what you want. So say maybe... Um, keep in mind these yellow Android MTP codes do not work for 2-player mod on the actual hardware, so don't use these. Let's say that I wanted no idle Chaos Powers music. I did want independent respawns. And maybe, what else can we change here? Maybe I want no bloom instead of bloom reduction. I want the stable partner intros. I want quick boot. Maybe I want the super air saucer. And maybe this one hit kill, chaos blast, and weak jump ball. So unfortunately this program, in my opinion, is flawed. If you click any of these tabs here, you're going to lose all of your selection. And this is by design, I guess. It seems that they want you to be able to shift click what you want. And uh, that just unchecks everything, so be very careful when you're choosing cheese that you pick on the left side. So I'm actually going to be lazy and just re-import, close out that one, since it had already closer to what I wanted. Um, I'm going to start again from there, grab this, grab quick boot, disable partner intros, no bloom, turn off bloom reduction, super air saucer, I want weak shadow and one hit heal chaos blast. Okay, good enough. From here I go to export list, and this is already set to save the right name GCT. Go to USB Nintendo, Games, Shadow the Hedgehog, and I'm going to replace the one that we just copied over, actually. But I've replaced it with the updated codes that I've customized. Seems like the game and whatnot has copied over successfully to our USB, so let's go ahead and boot up the Wii. So right off the bat, you should notice the new Nintendo 42 player Shadow the Hedgehog icon. Go ahead and click that. And this is the one, once again, you only will use for the mod. It will not work with any other games. Okay, go ahead and pick USB. If all went well, you should see Shadow the Hedgehog in the game list. I'm going to press B on the GameCube controller to get to settings. You need to turn on cheats and unlock read speed. If you want to use the provided 100% memory card, you need to use MM card emulation as well. I'm going to actually go ahead and tweak the display to match my TV here. But this is optional. Do whatever works for you. So, looks good to me. I'm going to launch that. You see this, this means the ISO edits have successfully worked. Looks like the 100% save is working as well. Let's see if Super Saucers is working, because it's one of the ones that I customized, and then, yep, they are. So. There you go, now you see how you can create your own cheat list with Nintendo, and it's working on hardware, so enjoy it. Alright, so let's move on to Dolphin. So following the steps here, close Dolphin if it's open, we need to open up the 2-player Shadow the Hedgehog mod version 2.2. We're grabbing the scoop 8 pini we're going to bring that over to Dolphin. User folder, go to game settings, paste that in here. And while I'm here, I'm going to open up another folder here. Go to my downloads. I'm going to go ahead and extract the SD texture pack. This readme tells you what to do. Place it in this folder. Slash load slash textures. We're already in the user folder. Open load, open textures. Grab open this goop 8 p That's all you need to do for that. Uh, since we're here, let's also do the 100% save file. Open up the release zip again. Open up this Dolphin 100% save. Back in the Dolphin user folder, go find the GC folder. 
find USA. And if you don't have a card A here, you want this card A. Otherwise, if you have a card A, you just need to bring over the GCI to the card A folder. That's really all we need from this zip, so let's go ahead and launch Dolphin now. The cheats file is all there, so we can go to properties. This is checked, that's a good sign. Go to gecko codes, and you should see all this is here now, so that's great. Everything seems to be good. Let's go ahead and actually enable cheats in the guide itself. It says open config, enable cheats. That's right here. Go to general, go to cheats, turn that on. Under graphics, advanced, you want to turn on load custom textures and prefetch custom textures. If I go ahead and launch the game now. Oh, you know what? I forgot a key thing. You need to go to graphics, go to general, and you want this aspect ratio here to either set by 16 by 9 or stretch to window because of the patches. I'm actually going to do 16 by 9. I'm also going to change this to Direct3D 11 since I'm on Windows, or if you're on Linux, I would recommend Vulkan instead of OpenGL. I'm going to turn on Show FPS while I'm here as well. I'm actually not going to mess too much with these settings, the Enhancements tab, because this will decrease in performance if anything. Uh, in my case, I know my system can handle 4x, so I'm going to go with that. For the Hacks tab, you pretty much want all of these checked. So now we're going to try this Dolphin FPS optimization step. Let's go ahead and run the game. If you see this pop up with custom textures loaded, that's a good sign. So I can already tell the textures are working good. And we can go back here to advance and turn it off. You can see right away there's a difference. I've got to find out the truth. I don't remember this place. That was a bit loud. Let me turn that down. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead with one player at the, still at the start of the stage, and with the other player I'm going to go to the center of the area where Knuckles is and the other enemies are. You can probably see in the top right corner, the frame rate has dropped to 28 frames per second. Go ahead and click Config, go to Advanced, go to Enable Emulated CPU Clock Override, and bring this up to... Try to, try to hit 60, and it varies per CPU. If you're starting to get audio distortion, like I'm going to purposely set this to 400, well, oddly enough, I'm not getting audio distortion, but a lot of the times you will. So don't go too high, but just see where you can get like a stable frame rate at. And in some cases, actually going lower than the 100% will help. It really depends on your CPU. In my case, though, I know I need to go to 230%. I'm getting a stable 60. So once you've found the value that seems to work best for you, go ahead and stop the game. Go to config again, and you'll see it reset. So now you need to set it one more time. Was that 230 in my case? and now it'll stay permanently. So there you go, you've optimized Dolphin and we've set up everything. If you need to do controllers for player two, obviously do that here. I hope you're familiar with Dolphin. Other than that, go to properties, customize the cheats as needed. We are gonna go over the Sonic over yellow Android though right now. This two player extracted folder, this is once again, the two player mod stuff is already applied and it's the stock version 2.2. So let's go to the character mods repo right here. I'm going to go to the yellow shadow android folder, got a custom bone and MTP, and I'm going to go to Sonic by Gansync. I'm just going to grab the one that I changed. I'm going to go to shadow2pi.1, download that. And I don't need to worry about the other codes in that folder, as the two player mod already has those codes. I'm going to go to character and paste that in there. I need to go back to Dolphin. You actually re add the FST folder since I deleted it earlier. There it is, the zero file size game. And once again, you just convert to ISO like this. But in my case, I'm just going to run this for demo purposes. Oh, so this would actually crash or look very funky uh, because I forgot to actually enable the two player cheat that allows the MTP override. So go over here, find this yellow Android MTP animation override. You need this cheat. And in my case, I know I picked Sonic, and there's a already a pre built Sonic color in FX, so I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to pick Air Fleet, just because. So, I can already tell it's working. Sonic isn't doing the same idle animation as Shadow. Yeah, Sonic's animations are working, his punch is working, and he has his jump ball. So it looks like everything's working good. Just note if you're going to use this code, it's not as stable as the original game. Although, the Sonic one has been thoroughly tested and it should work for the most part. 